Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about one of the most, if not the most useful app that you need to have installed on Windows 11. And that app is called Microsoft Power Toys. I think for those of you who have installed Windows 11 for some time and used it for some time already know about this app. But if some of you don't know about it in this video, I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of the app and what you can do with it. Before starting the video, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that that you won't miss any future uploads like these and also a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by HitPaw Video Converter. With HitPaw Video Converter, you can convert to and from more than a thousand video and audio formats, download media from 10,000 plus popular websites with a single click, and you even have the ability to apply simple edits to the files such as cut, merge, and more. To start the conversion process, simply select your video or audio file, and then select the format you want to convert to. After you select the output location, you can click on the convert button, and the conversion process will be done in seconds. The video conversion speed is 90 times faster without any quality loss using the lossless acceleration feature. Download HitPaw Video Converter from the links in the description today and make sure to use the coupon code for a 30% discount. Microsoft Power Toys can be easily installed and downloaded from the Microsoft Store. You just search for Microsoft Power Toys or you can access the direct link that I've placed in the article down below in the description. But it's really easy to find it. An important thing about this app is that this app is developed by Microsoft. It is provided and updated by Microsoft Corporation and it provides a set of utilities for power users to tune and streamline their Windows 10 and 11 experience, of course, as Microsoft describes the app but the app is really useful because it extends various parts of Windows and it allows you to furthermore customize different sections of Windows 11. And for that, I think that this is one of the most useful apps that you can install on Windows 11. You can see that it has a very good rating, so you can install it for free from the Microsoft Store. After you install the app, you're going to see that the app is going to look something like this if you open Power Toys Settings. So you're going to need to work with Power Toys Settings in order to customize different parts parts of Windows 11, but what I recommend you to do first is go in the app in the version and always check for updates to be sure that you have the latest version and you should receive this message Power Toys is up to date. And also, you're going to see this yellow dialog, you need to run as administrator to use the setting. So we're going to need to restart Power Toys as administrator, so just click on this button and then click on yes, and now we will have full access to every setting that requires the administrative privileges. Now as you can see, we are used to this design in Windows 11, we have the left sidebar and the main settings in the right side. Well, in the general section, you have general options and settings, of course, about the Power Toys app. So you can check for updates, you can download updates automatically, you have the administrator mode, and also appearance and behavior. So you can choose the app theme. I recommend you leave it as Windows default and also run at startup. If you're using certain aspects of this app, this will be really useful to let the app run at startup. So make sure this is turned on. Now let's go quick quickly through these things and let me show you what you can do with power toys. So for example, first of all, we have the always on top section. Always on top is a quick and easy way to pin windows on top. For every setting that we're going to use in different sections, you're going to see that we have the activation shortcut. So you can use this combination to pin a window on top. Of course, if you click on this, you can change this activation shortcut. If you don't want to have any problems by reusing a certain combination of keys, you can leave them as default. Also, you can enable this do not activate when game mode is on because maybe that could interfere with the games that you're running. Of course, you have appearance and behavior where you can customize the appearance of things, color mode, thickness, and also sound. Play a sound when pinning a window and you can also exclude apps. Just type an app by typing its name and .exe. So let me show you how this looks. We're going to use the Windows Control T combination and as you can see, this app is pinned on top. Whatever we are doing in Windows 11, we have this app pinned on top of course, you can lower the thickness of the border if you don't like it that thick, but that is really, really cool. And it also follows the Windows theme. That is really nice. So I think this is, first of all, a very useful thing. If you want to pin a certain app, you want to have that app 
depend whatever you're doing on your monitor. Next up, we have Awake. Awake is a convenient way to keep your PC awake on demand. So you have to enable Awake, of course, and we have the behavior mode, manage the state of your device when Awake is active, and you can keep using the selected power plan and also keep screen on. Just turn it on and the Awake option or section is turned on and you can keep your PC awake on demand. Really easy, as easy as that. Next up, we have Color Picker, which is a quick and simple system-wide color picker. This is a great tool for designers. I'm not gonna go in depth with every setting that you have here regarding the editor, but it's easy to use. As you can see, we have the activation shortcut. Just use it, Windows Shift plus C, and we have a very fast and easy to use color picker in Windows 11. I think a lot of times I needed this, but I didn't know that we have it available using Power Toys. Also, as you can see, we have the hex format, but you can customize this. So for example, you can change the formats. You can set it to RGB, for example. So if I'm using Windows Shift plus C, I'm gonna have the RGB values for a certain section of my Windows operating system. And that is really, really useful. And when you select a certain color, you're going to see that this will open up and you will automatically have the hex RGB and also HSL values. Just click on this button and they are copied to your clipboard. As easy as that. I think this is really, really useful. And of course, you can go on and play with the editor if you are interested in going more in depth. Of course, this is a great tool for designers and people that are using design software. I'm not going to talk about fancy zones a lot because I've made a different video about fancy zones, but basically fancy zones allows you to create window layouts to help make Make multitasking easy. Basically, you will have a way more advanced snap layouts from Windows 11, but I'm going to leave you in the article down below a link to the video that I've done about fancy zones. And you can watch that video where I talk about in depth how you can customize and use fancy zones. Now we have File Explorer add-ons. These settings allow you to manage your Windows File Explorer custom preview handlers. So we have different sections that we can enable. So for example, we have enable SVG preview. All these are already enable markdown preview, enable developer files preview, and all sorts of previews, for example, SVG thumbnails, PDF thumbnails, and stuff like that. This can be really useful, but make sure to read out these warnings. So for example, thumbnails might not appear on paths managed by cloud storage solutions like OneDrive, since the solution may get their thumbnails from the cloud instead of generating them locally. So that is nice to know. Next up, we have image resizer. This will let you resize images by right clicking. This is really, really nice. So we have already some presets created and also we can add a custom size if we are interested. Also encoding, which is using the JPEG encoding, you can select another one if you want. And also the JPEG quality level, PNG interlacing, TFF compression and so on. And also file format and file modified timestamp. So let's test this out. I have here an image. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna have to right click on this image, show more options to have the full access to the old context menu and then click on resize pictures and the menu from the power toys section will pop up with all the presets that I have. So for example, this image, I think it's full HD. I'm going to resize it to small and I can also check make pictures smaller, but not larger. Ignore the orientation of pictures, resize the original pictures, which won't create copies. I don't recommend you enable this one if you don't want to lose the original copy. And you can also remove metadata that doesn't affect a rendering. So I'm just going to click on resize and you're going to see that in the same location, another file will be created. So the original original file has the resolution of something about 4k I think and now the file that we've resized has the resolution of 854 by 475 which is really really nice and a really fast and easy way to resize images using power toys next up we have the keyboard manager keyboard manager lets you reconfigure your keyboard by remapping keys and shortcuts so you have two options keys and shortcuts you can click on remap a key and then on the plus button use the physical key and remap it to a certain command or key and also shortcuts where you can do the same thing and you can also select a target app that you can use that command to. We also have mouse utilities, a collection of mouse utilities that you can use. You have enable find my mouse. So you can use this option as you can see when shaking the mouse or pressing the left control key twice. So let's use the control key way for example, double tap on control and you can find the mouse really easy. Click on it and that highlight will disappear. But if you want, you can of course change the activation method. So you can change it to shake mouse. And now when I'm shaking the mouse, I'm gonna find the mouse 
mouse really easy but i like the left control twice method because maybe we are shaking the mouse very often when using the operating system and if the highlight turns off always that could be a bit annoying we have the mouse highlighter which we can enable by using windows shift h and once enabled if you click anywhere on your operating system you will have certain highlights which of course you can customize the left bottom highlight the right bottom highlight color opacity radius and stuff like that for example you can use the lower opacity and stuff like that in my case it is really not that useful but maybe for some of you it can be i'm just going to use the keyboard combination windows shift plus h again to disable that and you can also have mouse pointer crosshairs mouse pointer crosshairs draws crosshairs centered on the mouse pointer just enable this and use Control alt p and you have this crosshair i'm not really sure for what this would be useful but maybe it can be useful in some games or something like that and you also have appearance and behavior and you can play with the opacity the radius the thickness the border and stuff like that and of course the color next up we have power rename a windows shell extension for more advanced bulk renaming using search and replace or regular expressions for example you can use this to rename more files and at the same time and also replace certain files and as you saw when we are using this we also have this in the context menu we have it here if i click on show more options we have power rename and we can find similar files or we can categorize them use certain filters to rename multiple files at the same time of course we have the shell integration options and also the autocomplete options and the behavior which provides extended features but may use different regex syntax for those of you who find this really useful you can certainly play with it and find what is best for you we have power toys run which is a quick launcher that has additional capabilities without sacrificing performance so what this will do if I'm using the Alt plus space keyboard combination, I can start typing the name of a certain app and that app will be provided to me. I can open it really easily. It's really useful and uh, it's of course customizable. We have search and results, the number of results shown before scrolling, which is four, position and appearance, which you can customize of course, and also plugins. You can include or remove plugins from the global results, change the direct activation phrase and configure additional options. This is really, really nice. And you also have some plugins here that you can enable or disable. We have the shortcut guide, which is a help overlay with Windows shortcuts, which can be enabled by using the windows shift plus slash combination and we have here a lot of combinations that we can use so for example as you can see we have windows a d e g h i k l m n r s and all the alphabet really really easy and you have a lot of things that you can use here and this is really cool and of course you can customize the appearance and behavior and exclude certain apps and lastly we have video conference mute which is a quick and easy way to do a global mute of both your microphone and webcam disabling this module or closing powershell will unmute the microphone and camera just turn this on select your shortcuts for mute camera and microphone mute microphone mute camera select the microphone select the camera and stuff like that you can have a small little toolbar which can be really really useful so basically this is microsoft power toys i'm looking forward to hearing from you in the comments if you find this app useful what section of the app you find most useful but in my case i'm using this app especially for the fancy zones which i told you in the description down below I'm gonna find a link in the article to a dedicated video to fancy zones but if you didn't try the app yet try it out for yourself and let me know down below in the comments what do you think about this app if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was emmanuel from tech based until next time have a nice day